In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Cinemagraph Photoshop action. Okay, so how the action actually works is you just open some short footage, okay, and you just brush over the areas that you wish to stay active, okay, and just play the action. And here is the result. Okay, so as you can see, what the action does is actually the area that you brush will stay active, and uh, all area outside if you brush the area it will just be a static photo. Okay. So let's just show you, uh, close these windows and show you a few more examples that I have made, okay, using this action. Okay. So let me just close these examples. And uh, uh, first, I would like to to tell you a few tips, okay, about uh, about using the uh, f uh, footage, okay, about picking the f right footage. So uh, you should follow these tips so you can create the great results. Uh, first of all, if you are making your own footage, you should use a tripod, okay, so because the, the background of your scene must remain perfectly still in order for just specific subject to stay active, okay. Also, you should feature a scene that includes some kind of continuous or looping motion, and footage must be up to 20 seconds long. And why is that? Because the, when you open the footage in your Photoshop, uh, the number of frames that can be loaded is uh, limited to about 500. Uh, frames that's about 20 seconds long video so if you're using a, lo a longer footage it will be just Photoshop will just cut some part of your footage and maybe that will be exactly the part that you want to use okay so the best is to just uh, cut your video before you open it there and also make sure that your subject or your brushed area doesn't overlap with anything in else in the footage and first and last frames should be very similar in most of the case Okay, so what I like to do is I like to open some video editing program like this and just cut the main part of the footage, okay, that you want to use. And later when you open it in your Photoshop, you can still cut some parts, okay, to make it perfect. But this, I cut the main part, so I make the footage uh, shorter, okay. So this is the footage that I got, let's just play it. Okay, so let's just pick the first frame, okay, so I, I'm gonna choose this to be the first frame, so I'm just gonna cut the part for that, and now I should search for the, the last frame that I choose should be similar to this first one, okay, for a better result. Just gonna split over here. Let's just quickly see this. I'm gonna remove this. Okay, they are similar enough. So I'm just going to save the the movie to my desktop. Like this. Okay, and I said you don't have to cut the anything program uh, with anything program. You can cut it in your Photoshop, but uh, the best is to cut some main part in some other video, okay, a video editing program, but uh, if your footage is already short, you can then immediately open it here, okay, if it's less than 20 seconds. So, to load the action, you just go to Window, Actions, and just click on this little arrow here, Load Actions, and just choose the action that can be downloaded, okay, so here it is. And all you have to do now is to just play the action, okay, and now, uh, what you have to do is to choose up your footage. So I'm just gonna choose the footage that I have made. Just gonna click open. And you should use everything default here. Okay. Uh, you can know, uh, also here choose the range uh, that you wish to import. Just choose the from beginning to end and click OK. Okay. So now we got the message. It says now cut your video if needed. Also rename first active layer to start and last active layer to end. Okay. And choose stop to proceed. So just gonna click stop. 
and you got the first uh, frame here and you can just select the first and last to see if they are similar enough or you can cut your video uh, also here okay so I'm just gonna cut all these other parts so this is the uh, last uh, this is the first frame that they're going to use okay and it's the layer one I'm just gonna double click there and name it to start and sometimes your first frame will be like for example this one here okay uh, the frame that you select will automatically automatically turn it on uh, it will visibility will be turned on here so for example if this is the first frame that you want to use then the this frame I would rename to start and just I would just select all these and go to delete layers okay so you just have to delete all other uh, layers uh, in this case uh, my first frame is the first layer I just rename it to start and this is the last frame that they're going to use so when you select it you will get uh, it will be shown uh, its visibility will be turned on so you can easily find it here so this uh, the layer this one here just double click and just rename it to end Oops. and now you have to also delete all other layers okay that are not active just like this and also delete them here uh, in the frames okay so uh, all you have to do now is to just play the action again so I'm going to pause the video here and get back when the uh, message pop-ups and uh, we're gonna have the message uh, to that we stop the action so we can brush the area that we wish to stay active so just gonna click play okay so here is the message and it says now just brush over the area that you want to stay active choose stop to proceed so just choose stop and the brush will be already selected also the color you can just change its size if you like and just gonna brush like this just gonna brush also a little bit over here like this and we'll be able to change this brushed area later okay and so now just click play again okay so the action shape just stopped so first I'm going to close the actions panel and first thing that you should do is to select the, the start frame layer here and, and just click on this little icon here okay and just click match okay so this is your first frame these are our other frames and this is the uh, brushed area that you can make it okay and uh, here we got the adjustments so you can make some adjustments to your footage so let's go over here this is the overall contrast so you can just click on the word opacity and drag into the side to change the contrast okay you got the overall brightness just double click there and uh, you can just change the brightness by moving these three cursors here okay you got the vibrance here so I'm just getting some uh, nice vibrance and saturation to our photo and you can also change the settings here and here we have the add a photo tint so all you have to do is to increase the density and you can choose any filter here so let's do some like this just gonna lower this a little bit like this okay and here we got the add color uh, layer so you can choose any channel here and make some changes if you like okay just getting uh, this layer getting some nice colors or photo okay so that were the adjustments so let's just play uh, the videos to see how it looks okay so uh, also what sometimes you should change is this uh, delay here between the frames so I usually select all these frames you can actually click on this layer here and just go select all frames and then click on any of the frames this uh, number here that is the delay and just choose no delay okay and just play it again and let's just quickly see Uh, you can see that we got increased brightness on these two frames so you can just select them and just remove them okay just like this uh, on these two frames as well okay 
okay so that's it actually and uh, also uh, the action will create the reversal moment uh, let's just click to see uh, when it starts so okay so uh, sometimes you can just uh, delete the, the reversal moment and just keep action is uh, repeating okay but usually it looks the better when you got that in inverse frames okay so you can just select the frames somewhere in the half I can play C okay somewhere like this and you can just remove other frames okay and uh, you can also change this uh, brushed area here okay so just select all these frames select the layer mask and uh, you can also select to brush with the white color any other areas that you wish to stay active or with the black the areas that you want to be active okay so and what you can do now is uh, you can just go to save export and you can render a video or you can just go to save for web okay it needs some time to uh, to load here because of the size of the video okay so you just change here to GIF and you can change immediately the size here if you like and just click save yeah, you can uh, put the file name here choose the images only and that's it okay so this is what I give uh, I have uh, lowered the size here okay so I have saved uh, all these videos as a uh, GIFs and you can save them as a video okay okay so I hope you uh, I hope you understood everything and if you still need any help or you got any questions feel free to contact me anytime via my Envato Perfect page thanks